Hello. Good day to you children. Our lesson today is describing and differentiates the attributes or properties of triangles using concrete objects or models. Get ready, stay focused and learn. If you look carefully, you'll notice triangles all around you. Triangle comes from the Latin word triangulus, three-cornered or having three angles, from the roots tri meaning three, and angulus meaning angle or corner. Each shape in math has some properties which distinguish them from each other. Let us discuss here some of the properties of triangles. The first property is a triangle has three sides, three angles, and three vertices. Next is, the sum of all internal angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. This is called the angle sum property of a triangle. The third one is, the sum of the length of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. The side opposite to the largest angle of a triangle is the largest side. And the last property is any exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its opposite angles.
Triangles are classified into two, according to sides and according to angles. Let's start by classifying according to the sides. Keep an eye on the lines. What do you notice? That's right, they all have the same length of 8 centimeters. And if we use those lines as sides of a triangle, we can say that this triangle has equal sides. And we will call it the equilateral triangle. How about these lines? What do you notice? Correct, two lines are the same length. And if we use them as sides of the triangle, we can say that the triangle has only two of the same length of sides. And we'll call it the isosceles triangle. Looking back at the three lines, we will now notice that the lengths of the three are different. If we use them as sides of a triangle, we can describe it as having no sides of equal length, and we will call it a scaling triangle. Let's go to the classification according to angles, look at the triangle, it has 60 degrees in each of the three angles, and we call these acute angles. This means that this triangle is acute. The next classification according to angle is a triangle that has a 90 degrees angle or right angle, which will be named as a right triangle. And the last one is, the triangle with more than 90 degrees angle, or an obtuse angle at 3 of each angle, which will be called the obtuse triangle. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.